Kenyan socialite Manzi Wakibera claims her 67-year-old lover cheated on her and she vows to keep the title deed. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. This is The Trends Digest and my name is Sarah Cyrus. Now, if you are new here, please consider subscribing so that you can be alerted once we remove our next trending video. The 22-year-old Manzi Wakibera claimed that Mze cheated on her with multiple women and she discovered after going through his phone. She added that her lover had promised to take her to driving school and also buy her a car worth 1.5 million Kenyan shillings, but he never fulfilled his promise. Manzi Wakibera, who was engaged to the 67-year-old before the breakup, said she will only take him back if he agrees to marry her in a 7.5 million Kenyan shillings wedding. Now guys, there you have it. I'm sure most have been wondering what happened to this too. Now, Octo Pizzo was spotted with Winnie Odinga in Kigali, Rwanda. Now, as you can see, here is the photo and Octo Pizzo takes to social media to write, and I do quote, was a great pleasure linking up with Winnie Odinga in Kigali. The future of leadership is exciting. Hashtag Dawn. With that, we are left to wonder what the two really discussed. With all the drama that has been circulating all around Taylor Mbaya, he takes to social media to share his excitement for starting therapy. Now, he takes to Instagram posts, that is, stories to write, and I do quote, first day of therapy done. Now, that is amazing that he is seeking help after being assumed that he is a scammer and a gambler. Now, we do wish him all the best in this new journey. A massive happy birthday to Kenyan content creator Sandra Dacha. She takes to social media to post this photo celebrating her 33rd birthday. It is sad to report this. The Vatican officials have come out to announce that Pope Francis is to undergo an intestinal surgery and spend several days in the hospital recovering. Well, we do wish him all the best in his journey in healing. On more news, Sean Arwa sends a cryptic message weeks after unfollowing her best friend, Nairofari. She takes to social media that is Instagram stories to write more boundaries and less BS. Pounds and dollars are my reality now. Cash, that is Kenyan shillings, don't matter. As we all know, she recently just moved abroad to live with her boyfriend who they have been dating for a couple of years now. And with the Instagram stories that she has been posting, she clearly seems to be living the life, getting new cars from her man. And honestly, she doesn't seem to be bothered by other things. Hence, she came out to post this message. Now, we wonder where Nairofari does stand with this. We are still waiting for her response if she does come out to speak now guys there you have it those are the trending videos and stories of the day what are your thoughts in this feel free to let us know your honest opinion down in the comment section below we would love to hear from you now once again this is the trends digest and my name is sarah cyrus if you have not yet subscribed, please consider to do so so that you can be alerted once we remove our next trending video. With that said, guys, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.